Yeah, that's right. Hi, my name is Cock Nibbler. All my life, I've been an invincible homeless man, just trying to find a way to kill myself. But recently, I found out from three nerd gods that I am destined to complete the main storyline for season six of Skyrim for Pimps. Not too sure what that means, but it's going to take me on great adventures, and who knows what kind of characters I'll meet. This is Skyrim for Pimps, a very special kind of walkthrough. Ah, uh, Sovngarde. Home of the dead. Or is it more like a hotel for the dead? It's like a retirement home for the dead, where there's a giant evil dragon that eats the elderly people sometimes. Oh, wow, yeah, I bet he does. Is there, is there like a lottery? It's a like, death lottery. Who will be fed into the jaws of Goat Nibbler this evening? While they're playing Immortal Bingo. <laughs> oh, it's very foggy here. Ooh. I don't care for this. I can't see anything. Hello? Turn back, Traveler. Yes. Terror waits within this mist. Oh, good. Many have Excellent. braved the shadowed veil, but vain is all courage against the peril that guards the way. I think we found Shakespeare. You're very poetic, sir. Who are you? Near Giant's Gap, uh -huh. in the gloom before dawn, a swift flying arrow to Southern Guard. It's kind of a shitty I, name, actually. I'm not going to remember that. Oh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to remember all of it. Sorry. Let's just call you Stormy. Stormy C. Alduin, <laughs> his hunger insatiable. Oh, goat nibbler? Hunts the lost soul snared within this shadow. His valley. hunger. Wait, are you saying he shits mist <laughs> after he eats? I think the mist is like, there's like, see, there's like spices floating around in the air. That's what's oh, creating this mist. Look. That's what makes him so hungry. Yeah. Oh, okay, so he doesn't shit mist. Because <laughs> that would be, that would be silly. Shorzal, what's that? Don't you know? What drew you here? Surely your dreams showed you the way. Uh, I just went into like a portal. <laughs> uh, yeah, and before that, it was like this uh, horny dragon showed us the way. Yeah, I just rode here on this dragon that got, you know, tingled by a bard. Let's go, Stormy Sea. It's time to kick some ass. It just disappeared. Into the mist, that's creepy. Into the mist seasoning. The spicy mist. Oh, God! Oh, God. What the hell? Is Watch out, Stormy Sea! Be it's careful, that was Goat Nibbler. No. Oh, oh, no! Good thing he got through all that exposition before he died. Oh, yeah, I know. Hey, are you Stormy C's brother? Stormy G? Stormy G? <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's not as friendly as Stormy C. No. Oh, oh fuck! It's Goat Nibbler again. Oh god, is he gonna get Stormy G? <laughs> Probably. Hey, oh he's no! Got a Stormy G! Fuck. Oh god! Oh! You can't make any friends here, man. No, you really can't. It's... They're immediately seasoned and eaten by <laughs> Goat Nibbler. It is exactly like a retirement home. Ooh, I like this place. Very mm. well decorated. Damn, that is a fucking awesome like hall right oh. there. Wouldn't oh. it be funny if this was just like a giant outhouse? <laughs> what brings you way far? Uh, under here. Like, Sovereign. I thought you were very Soul. beautiful and then you started talking. <laughs> Dude, this is one really huge chick. Oh my god. Sylvia Anderson. Wow. Dude, I think she's had a, I think she has a beard. Like a really light beard. Uh, are you sure this is a woman? I think, I think this this might be David Bowie. Oh my god, really? <laughs> that would be really offensive if it was. I sure hope it's not. Well, yeah, it's not. It's Sylvia Anderson. That would be so way too soon. Luckily, it's Sylvia Anderson and not David Bowie. Hey, I'm looking for Goat Nibbler. You know, the guy who eats all the Face people around here. Since first he set his soul snare here at Sovngarde's threshold. Soul snare. Soul snatch. Sure He's a soul snatcher. He's a soul snatcher. Deep counsel. Do 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 do. He's a soul snatch. Do 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 do. do, do, do. do. Let me in. None may pass this perilous bridge till I judge them worthy by the warrior's test. What? Oh, did you bring a number oh, two shit. pencil? I'll oh, beat her ass. Okay. Oh Sil man, she is tough. But this isn't really fair. Sylvia, I think, is probably already dead. Probably. Can you, like, not burn me, please? I can't see anything. Use your lightning shout, your thunderstorm. Oh, yeah, that'll kick Sylvia's ass. I'm gonna blast that fucking low voice right out of you, Sylvia. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Uh -huh. It worked, didn't it? It's gonna continue working. Uh, you probably shouldn't wear metal armor during a thunderstorm, Sylvia. <laughs> it's, um... Man, it just attracts lightning. Yeah, you might want to get inside. That's awkward. It was such a nice day, too. I'm sorry I ruined the weather. 
What? what? I, I guess you can go in. Hey, uh, what do I do? Just walk along this spine or whatever? <laughs> is this how I get in there? This seems really dangerous. This is really treacherous now that it's wet. <laughs> Shit, dude. What if I fall <laughs> off? Damn it. This is a really bad idea for a bridge. This just does not pass the regulations for a bridge. Go really fucking slowly, okay? Couldn't you have at least made it out of rainbows? All right, well, time to enter. Yeah, let's see what's going on in here. Shy coodle goodle. Isgrammar? Yes, y no, Yizgrammar. Yiz grammar. Yiz grammar is here. Oh, hey, here. all my dead friends are probably here. Dude, look at all that food! Uh, you guys are lucky to be dead. Dude, it, this isn't even stealing. You can just take these things. Oh my god, a free sweet roll? Hell yeah, oh, I'm all bread, over that. Goat cheese. <gasps> Cabbage. Cabbage, your favorite! <laughs> hey, who are these clowns? How's it going? Hi, Gormlaith, Golden Hilt. Well, what, what do I do? Well, can I help? Can you guys? Can I help you guys? Cock. I'm the ancient traveler. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Listen, now listen to me, because this is really important. More important than completing the main quest and killing Goat Nibbler? <laughs> what could be more important than that? Just shut up for a second. On the third turd ass of the third month, I need you to go and stop these two people named Foon and Crotch from fighting each other. On the third turd ass of the third month. Don't forget that date. Uh, I don't know. My turd asses are pretty full for the next few months, but I'll see if I can squeeze it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. You have to stop them from fighting, because if either of them dies, a great evil is going to be released into the land. A great evil? You mean, like, Goat Nibbler, right? Goat Nibbler ain't shit compared to this thing. It's kind of weird that you're telling me this, like, right before I go defeat the biggest evil in the land of Skyrim, but... Whatever, that's cool. So where are they gonna be? They will be in library land. Library land? Yes. It's this amazing place. It's like a beautiful nightmare where books are instruments of torture. Well, how do I get there? Just hop on a dragon and tell him to take you to library land. It's really simple. All the dragons know where library land is. Okay, ancient traveler. Okay. Okay, thanks. So anyway, I'll um, just put them in headlocks, both of them in headlocks, and I'll be like, hey, this is just a show. Don't kill each other over a show. The GSP gods wouldn't want this. Does that sound good? Yeah, whatever it takes, man. We must drive away his mist, shouting together. Oh, wait, and you guys are going to help me? Yeah, dude, they're going to help. Oh, I don't need help. Come on, I punched him to death the first time. Well, you can't fucking get him. He's, he's covered in that mist. Yeah, but this time I have a sword. Don't you recognize these guys? These are the ones who killed him the fir or banished him the first time. Yeah, they didn't do shit the first time. That's why I don't want them on my team. That's why they need you. Yeah, exactly, because they were just like sent him to the future a hundred years. They didn't do shit. Well, now they won't have to send him to the future. They'll do all the magical stuff they're good at. I don't and then want you... your guys' help, okay? I'm just going to get rid of this mist, and then you guys can go home, all right? <laughs> go back and have some ghost cheese or whatever you eat. Clear skies! Combine our shouts! All right, we're combining our shouts. Yeah, all right. Why aren't you shouting? Uh, hey guys, um, I can't shout right now. <laughs> kind of summoned up a thunderstorm a few minutes ago. Alduin will hide in this lightless mist until we shout together and shatter his power. Can we just wait for about five hours? Just, <sighs> dude, just try waiting. Just I, try I, waiting. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh my god. We must shout together. Uh, I know, I can't. I can't. I just used the thunderstorm one when I was coming in. Yeah, haven't you guys ever used the, the, the storm call shout? Endless weight gives way to battle. Look, I'm sorry. Alduin's doom. His death or ours. Shut up. I know. How about a picnic? Fuck. Dude, just relax. Okay, guys, I'm ready. Sorry about the delay. <laughs> we must clear this confounding mist. I, I know. Dude. <laughs> Happy? <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Wow, we cleared the fucking mist. Finally. That was great. Wait, uh, it's coming back, you guys. What the fuck? Oh, no. Well, at least that one doesn't take three hours to regenerate. <laughs> Ow, ow, you kind of oh. hit me with that one. Hey. Ancient Traveler, watch yourself. Watch your mouth. Watch where you're pointing that thing. God, gross. I think there was a bunch of spittle in that shout. Oh. Okay. Did it work? No. Nope. Did we get him? Nope. Okay, guys, what's going on here? Is this like a practical joke? <laughs> Is this what you do? <laughs> Up here? <laughs> shout at each other? In heaven? Stand fast. His strength is failing. Once more and his might will be broken. Are you sure? How do you know that? I believe her. She's blonde. I believe anything blonde women say. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. 
Damn it, Ancient Traveler, I think you like... Yeah, you shouldn't stand in front of that guy. He's... He, he definitely spit on me on purpose that time. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it worked. Okay. Here we go. Let's do it, guys. Time to murder Goat Nibbles. Hey, Nibbles, come here. Get down here, bitch! Ah, uh, the Dragonborn. I've been waiting for you. Oh yeah? Well, what were you doing while you were waiting for me? That's what I'd like to know. Actually, I kept myself quite entertained. I downloaded a whole bunch of audio books from audible.com slash Skyrim. Remember you told me about that the last time we fought. Oh yeah, how you liking it? Oh, and how do you like the sword that I'm stabbing you with? I don't care for that, but I do like audible.com. So many entertaining books to listen to while I fly around, murder people, destroy families, and things like that. You know, typical evil dragon kind of things. I bet it has. You know I'm gonna kill you now, right? For doing that kind of stuff? Oh, I don't think so. You'll be the one who dies here, Dragon Speaking of dragons, guess what audiobook I've been listening to? I can't really imagine. I, there's like 180,000 of them. How am I supposed to guess? I'm listening to How to Train Your Dragon. Ironic, isn't it? It's read by David Tennant. I love him. It's obviously a fantastical book. You could never train a dragon like the idiot boy does in that. But I do enjoy listening to any dragon who lets a human ride upon it is a slug. Prepare to die, dragon. All my life has been leading up to this moment, where I will kill the mighty Goat Nibbler and save Skyrim. No, no, this is impossible. No. How are you killing me? It's really happening this time, I don't understand. Oh. Ah. Audible.com slash Skyrim, here I come. They'll give me one free audiobook! Oh yeah, yeah, bye-bye! I've done it! I, Cock Nibbler, am victorious! That was so epic! I mostly did that, you guys didn't do much. This was a what? mighty deed. What the hell is Sylvia doing here? The doom here? of Alduin encompassed at last. I didn't want to see you after my, in my moment of glory. <laughs> Get out of here! They will sing of this battle in Shores Hall forever. I don't care. It's your fate. Shut up. Sick. Good job, guys. Congratulations on watching me defeat Goat Nibbler. Do you want my autograph? I can sign your uh, your breastplate. Even here, where heroes throng, few can match this mighty deed. I know that would be what sexual glory. harassment, but you're dead, the so it doesn't matter, is... right? Want me to sign your uh, dick? I'll look for you, friend. Sign the old one eye. If you know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Well... <laughs> oh. Oh man! The one-eyed Hakon snake. <laughs> How about it? Yeah, look at him smile. He yeah. loves it. He <laughs> loves it. We're all so happy now that we've defeated Goat Nibbler. How about you, Ancient Traveler? What do you want me to sign on you? How about that weird face mask or whatever? No, nope. no, nope. get away from me. Nah. Go, get out of here now. I'm. No, nope. we're all done. You can go away now. Okay, okay, fine, relax. Uh, I'll go. Don't forget, you have to stop Foon and Crotch in Library Land. Got it? Yeah, of course. I, you already told me that. I'm, I got that it. That fucking guy. That's all he wants to talk He's about. He's just a one-track mind. Get me the hell out of here. Return now to Nerf. Oh, I finally just did it. My gods sure. are going to be so happy. Yeah? Will they? I hope so. They're going to like me again, right? God, I hope so. I don't fucking know. I don't even think they exist. Ow, ow! God damn it, that hurt! Oh, shit. Throat of the world. Ooh. This is where Parthenax lives? Yeah. Oh, oh man! Oh, my God, there's dragons. Look, dragons. It's me, Cock Nibbler. I killed your master, Goat Nibbler. So listen up. I want you to stop it. You suck. Get out of here and stop killing people around Skyrim. I don't want to have to go and, like, kill all of you, so just stop it. Yeah, stop yeah. killing people. Stop eating people. Yeah. Stop eating their goats and their sheep and their children. You all need to stop it, okay? No, fuck you. Kill our friends. Yeah. Yeah, you killed Mike and Jimmy, Clovis, Martin, Prastronaut. He killed Steve, too. Okay, fine. I'm going to make you a deal. We need to strike some sort of peace Bolshevik, here. Bolshevik, Biggles, Hunkerbong, Shibby, Max, Small Penis, the Dragon, kill the kill all of us. Okay, Dragons, listen. I'll make you a deal. Not only will I not methodically hunt down and kill all of you, but Brad the Bard will pleasure every single one of you. What? Unbelievable. Impossible. I don't trust you. No, I'm serious. Brad pleasures all of you, and you you stop it. You just stop it. Oh, hey, Parthenex. Oh, hi, Cocknibbler. What's wrong, man? Why the sad dragon's face? Hmm. 
I don't have a bar to suck my dick. Well, you can have Brad, you know, after everybody else is finished with him. But I want my very own bar. Tell you what, buddy, I'll make you a deal. You try to go be the leader of all these dragons, right? And keep them out of trouble? And if that works out, you can have Brad the Bard for your very own. Your very own dragon concubine. Well, I guess. I guess I could do that. Can we add one more thing to the deal? If you happen to somehow die or something, can you put him in your will? Sure. Sure thing, man. I don't think that's gonna happen, but sure, I'll add it to the deal. Cool. My very own Bard. Oh boy. So much pleasure awaits me. Haha. <laughs> hey, listen up, dragons. It's me, Parthenax. I'm the leader. I called it. Oh shit. He did. He called it. Oh yeah, he called it. He's right. Yeah, okay. First you called it. Yeah, you're the leader. Alright, Parthenax is taken care of. What's next? Hey, hey, cop, it's me. Oh, hey, how's it going? Enjoying your bard service? Yeah, yeah, it's really great. Look, I heard you just offered the bard to all the other dragons, man. What's up with that? I thought... Uh, I thought I could Alfred text you whenever I want and, and, and have the bard, eh? You go back on a deal? No, look, relax, man. You can still Alfred text me and I'll send him over, but you gotta share, man. I never said that you didn't have to share him. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. I mean, Brad is a talented bard. Uh, you shouldn't just try to keep him to yourself, man. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Well, now I can invite other dragons over when, when Brad comes. It'll be a lot of fun. We can do some really kinky shit. That'll be great. So look, about this whole me riding you situation. Are we cool? Tell you what, Kaka, I'm a busy dragon. If you need a ride on a dragon, I can hook you up with the closest dragon in your area. You just let me know. It's not always going to be me. Okay, that's fine. Are they going to have, like, a bottle of water or, like, a sweet roll or something on their back for me to eat while I'm flying? No. It's a free ride and a dragon. Okay, okay, I just... So there's not gonna be a fucking sweet roll. Just makes the flight better, you know? You get a ride on a dragon, that's it. Alright, fair enough. What a douchebag. Well, I guess I better go let Brad the Bard know he's gonna be sucking dragon dicks for the rest of his life. Hey there, this is Parthenax. Don't forget to go to audible.com slash Skyrim and sign out and get a free, downloadable audiobook. You get access to really cool audiobooks, and it really helps us out. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.